everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video i'm going to be filming one that is so highly requested at the minute i just have to sit down and film it and that is a how i make my notes slash revision resources since i started posting my gcse content last year and uploading all my notes on my social medias honestly they've been some of my like most popular pieces of content like i do put my heart and soul into these notes and i kind of love doing it like Pretty notes is the way to my heart, honestly. Just makes studying so much easier and I wanted to give you guys a tutorial so that you can hopefully enjoy studying a little bit more. So I'm very excited to say that this video is actually sponsored by Stationery Pal. They sent me this lovely little goodie box with so many different bits and pieces, pens, pencils, highlighters, everything. If you wanna know everything I got, I did a haul on TikTok so you guys can go watch that if you kind of wanna know my favorite items but i'm going to show you what i use kind of regularly to make notes okay so obviously to make a good quality set of notes you're going to need a good pen and something that you find easy to write with it takes a while honestly you'd think it'd be just like going to shop grab a random pen i know like so many people do that but for me it took a while to find a pen that i really really like to write with and also looks nice on the page because for me that makes a difference my absolute favorite pens are these ones i don't really know how to show you them they are the zebra grip smooth pens they're a little bit pricey than just like tesco random you know the pens with the lid in my opinion they're so worth it with the little grip thing here it's just so nice to write with i don't get blisters i used to get really bad blisters like on my thumb there but with these it stops you getting blisters okay the next thing that is very very key in my note taking is highlighters so i am a massive fan of the mild liners they're just my favorite highlighters ever i feel like they're such good quality and they have so many different colours. So these are the ones I picked up from Stationery Pal. So I got like the pastel ones. There was well, a purple in here as well, but it's in my pencil case. And then I got these colours as well, which I just think are so, so cute. Another pack of highlighters I got from Stationery Pal were these ones. They're kind of like the block colour ones. Um, they're the cream colour, like square highlighters. Some of them are in my pencil case right now, like I said, but yeah these ones are so nice and they're like really really soft to write with so i definitely recommend these from stationary pal in this pants case which by the way is from sheen i have literally so so many mild liners and they aren't actually the real life mild liners these ones are the dupes from amazon i'll link them down below for you guys they're like a mild liner dupe but they are the exact same like i kid you not between these and the real ones no difference at all another thing about my notes that i think people love so much is the black calligraphy title I actually picked up this pen which is the 0 0.5 micron just black fine liner pen this one is the uni pin fine line pen and this one's in 0 0.3 but yeah i will show you guys exactly how i do my titles and i can use for calligraphy and titles from stationery pal that i got were these little peach bunny themed ones and then also i don't I have confetti on it and then also these like pastel color ones they're just all black but they're just like really cute colors okay the next thing that i use for my notes is of course you're going to want a colored pen so whether this is like a biro fine liner gel pen so i picked up these ones from stationery pal and they are the sarasa milk color gel pens and they're just in so many cute colors prior to using them i was using these are the zebra z grip uh, um, colored pens and it comes with purple pink green blue and red these are literally the only ones i have left now that others have run out sometimes i don't do it that much anymore i definitely used to do this all the time like year nine and ten is do brush pen calligraphy titles pens from stationery pal somewhere in my pencil case um but yeah these ones i just think are so cute and the colors are really really nice they're the future color uh yeah future color ones the thing that i really really like i'm just going to get out a couple examples so i really really like the crayola super tips the crayola super tips they're so much easier to do um like calligraphy titles with because they've got a like a slanted nib honestly i love these so so much they're such good like coloring in pens as well but also really good for titles highlighting and they have so many colors I think I got the 24 pack off Amazon, but I have had the 50 pack before and I would actually recommend them more because they have so many different colours in them. The angles definitely change because my tripod keeps falling over. I'll show you the notebooks that I use, my absolute favourite paper, because I actually think that makes such a difference as well. Like, 
absolute favorite notebooks are the oxford campus ones so these are like the ring bind ones and then i also use the ones that are like the ones that like flip up i think they're so much easier to rip out actually so notebook like i don't obviously use this one anymore but i absolutely love the paper in this yeah i just absolutely love the paper it's so smooth like that's probably such a weird thing to say but i love this paper because my oxford campus notebooks are all full at the moment and there's only like a week left until the end of the year i just picked up this notebook in wilco obviously it's a lot cheaper and it doesn't really matter it doesn't matter on what it looks like but personally i just prefer the paper in the oxford ones like even feeling them now they're completely different so as you can see i'm at my desk now i've got a bunch of pens in my hand and we're gonna get on with making the notes and on my laptop i've got all of my flashcards so because this psychology topic for me is like a peachy pinky theme i've picked out all my pens so i've got two highlighters two different like normal pens and one of these peach bunny themed <laughs> black pens they're so so cute and then i am using the wilco notebook but normally i would be using the Ax oxford campus one the first thing that we're going to do is write the title Okay, so now we've done the first bit, which is kind of prepping the page for the notes. What I do is just consult my flashcards. So, for example, the first flashcard is to define labelling. So, if there's like a definition or a background piece of information, that's what I'm going to do first. And I'm going to put that directly underneath the title. We'll usually do that in a coloured pen, coloured biro, whatever you want to use. Then there is usually the first kind of paragraph. I will do a subheading so when i do my subheadings i'll either use the other end of the mild liner which is like a felt tip pen and just write it out in like capital letters or i'll just write it out in a black pen and highlight it We used to have each other's playlists No, no we Used to be each other's best friends Yeah and Now we go our separate pathways But you're 